Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to do a walkthrough of the process of investing in a globally diversified portfolio on Vanguard's UK platform. We'll record the entire process, showing you Vanguard's website and showing you how to choose the funds that you'd like to invest in. We're going to build a globally diversified portfolio with just two ETFs at a low cost. We'll make sure to explain the thought process behind choosing the ETFs and we'll also show you how to compare it to an index to ensure that the weightings are representative of the global markets. Just please remember that we are not qualified investment advisors. We're simply amateur investors who love saving and investing. Also, our tolerance to risk may be much different to yours. So, before investing in this portfolio for yourself, make sure to do your own research. With that out of the way, let's jump right onto Vanguard's website. So, here we are on the Vanguard website. We're currently just on the homepage right now. Uh, one important thing to note is that I am currently logged in. So, this is into my private investing account, which I've got a stocks and shares ISO open. If you're open to open a stocks and shares ISO with Vanguard, we have got a video and a tutorial explaining how to do that. So make sure to check that out if you haven't. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at building an ETF portfolio and a globally diversified one. So we can move over to what we offer, click on the ETFs. So this brings up a list of ETFs that are available with Vanguard. We've again got a video that explains all of the equity ETFs if you want to see a breakdown of them in a bit more detail. But as you can see, there's ETFs from Europe, the global sector, the UK, Japan, Asia and Pacific, the USA, and the emerging markets. There's also some fixed income funds should you want to invest in them. But today we are going to focus on a 100% equity portfolio. So since we want a globally diversified portfolio, one option to do, uh, to do this would be to invest in the FTSE or World Use It's ETF. So we'll click on that fund to take a look at it. So this has the ticker symbol VWRL. And it's a very popular ETF, and for good reason. It invests in uh, 3,461 stocks and has an ongoing charge of 0.22%. So it's sort of an all-in-one ETF. You know, you could invest in this ETF and you wouldn't need to invest in any others. So as you can see from this short description, it seeks to track the performance of the FTSE All World Index. So the FTSE All World Index, we actually have open in this other PDF. So it is an index created by FTSE Russell. As you can see here, it's a market capitalization weighted index representing the performance of the large and mid cap stocks from the global equity index series. And it covers 90 to 95% of the investable market capitalization. So it almost covers sort of every, every equity that is available on the stock market, but it doesn't include small cap stocks. So that's worth taking note of. So we can head back over to the ETF on Vanguard. You can have a look at the portfolio data gives a bit, gives us a bit more information about what the fund invests in so as you can see it invests in a range of countries uh, from all over the world notably from the developed markets and also the emerging markets as you can see China is also included so just to compare this to the FTSE index that we just talked about it says here the benchmark is 55.9 percent so we can go over on this document scroll down and find the country breakdown as we can see here the USA 55.9%. Also, we can scroll down on this document and it gives us the characteristics of the index. So, as you can see, the FTSE All World Index actually holds 3,961 stocks and it is made up from the FTSE Developed World Index and the FTSE Emerging Markets Index. So, if we go back and compare this to the fund V World, the WRL, we see it invests in 3,461 stocks. So comparing this to the 3,961 that make up the All World Index, it includes about 87% of the stocks in this index. So it's pretty representative. But the key thing here is that it is made up from the FTSE Developed World Index and the FTSE Emerging Markets Index. So that's what we're going to do to build this portfolio today. We're going to try and take those indexes and use them to build our own set of funds. So instead of investing in VWorld, we can simply close this down and we can take a look at the other ETFs. So we're going to invest in the FTSE Developed World Usage ETF. So we can click on that. So this fund has the ticker symbol VEVE. And as you can see, investing 2,160 stocks has a lower ongoing charge at 0.12%, which is going to be key. Uh, so as you can see, it seeks to track the performance of the FTSE developed index. So that's what we're hoping for. So we can go over to the portfolio data. 
and as you can see this is only including the countries that are in the developed world so you won't see countries such as China or Taiwan in this list so let's take a look at the US as we can see it invests in 63.3 percent so comparing this back to the all world index we can see that the USA actually makes up around 55.9 percent of the uh, global market capitalization so seeing that this makes up 63.3 percent we can do a quick calculation to figure out how much of this ETF should make up our portfolio. So we do 55.9 divided by 63.3 times it by 100% and we get 88.3%. So that means this is going to make up 88.3% of our portfolio, roughly. So we can cross check these values for other countries if we want. So let's take Japan, for example. It makes up 8.4% of this fund. So we can times that by 88.3% and that gives us 7.42. And let's quickly compare it back to the index as we can see that's 7.41 so that's close enough and we can be pretty happy that this is representative of the global markets you can check it for the others if, it, if you like but it should it should all match up pretty closely now since we want to invest in VEV you can go down to the bottom of the screen click invest now and it has added this fund to the basket so we can just close down this Little bar and close down the tab we're on and now we can find the emerging markets ETF so we'll scroll down of the emerging markets one here let's open this one up so this one has the ticker symbol VFEM so as you can see it invests in 1818 stocks and it has an ongoing charge of 0.22% and it also seeks to track the performance of the FTSE emerging index so since the other fund makes up 88.3% of the portfolio you can quickly do the math and this one is going to make up 11.7 of that percent of our portfolio so if we want to cross check this with the portfolio data you can check the countries that are investing as you can see a large allocation going to china we'll cross check the china allocation so we'll do 44 percent multiplied by 11.7 percent and that equals 5.15 so we go onto this list find china and there it is 5.11 so of course the values aren't completely equal but we're happy enough as the you know the values are close enough and it's pretty representative of the world again you can check this for the other countries if you'd like but they should all uh, fall in line with the FTSE or world index so now we've decided on the ETFs that are going to make up our portfolio so we have VEVE which is the developed world ETF and we have VFEM which is the emerging markets ETF for VEVE, we're going to be investing 88.3% of our portfolio and we're going to make the Emerging Markets Fund make up the remaining 11.7%. So interestingly enough, the total number of stocks between these two funds is 3,978. So this is more than actually the VWRL, which is the Vanguard or World ETF, which has 3,461. I'll also make sure to show a calculation on screen for the total ongoing charge of a portfolio. So this is done by multiplying the ongoing charge of each fund by the percentage weighting and summing them together. So the total ongoing charge for this portfolio would be 0.132%, which is of course much less than VWRL, which is at 0.22%. In fact, it's a 40% reduction in costs and you're actually getting a more diversified portfolio. So seems very positive just bear in mind that with these this two etf portfolio you would have to rebalance it every year or so if either market outperformed the other so now that we're happy with the funds we can also click invest now on the emerging markets fund and we can press continue to purchase so it'll come up with the option which account would you like to stop up we'll click on isa you can click when you'd like to uh, make the trade can see we have a whopping 15p cash available <laughs> but we'll buy at the next trading point so the two ETFs are here now and one important thing to mention is that if you're worried about having to make the upfront minimum payment of 500 pounds or the monthly payment of 100 pounds a month once you've already opened an account with Vanguard you actually don't have to meet these requirements you could simply put as much as you'd like you could as far as I know actually even just invest a pound in each fund if you'd want to but for this example we'll 
um, go through as if we're going to be investing £1,000 in this portfolio. So 88.3% of £1,000 would be £883. And then for the Emerging Markets Fund, the remaining 11.7%, we would make up £117. So once you're happy with that, you'd be able to click Next. So now you'd have to add your payment details. So you can click on the payment method, add your debit card or whatever method of payment you want to have. Quickly review the cost and charges disclosure if that's what you'd like to do. And then you also just have to click this agreement and then you'll be able to press submit and you'd be good to go. So there we have it, a complete guide on how to build a globally diversified portfolio using Vanguard ETFs on their UK platform. If you have any questions about the portfolio or the processes behind building it, then make sure to ask us in the comments below. Also, make sure to let us know if you enjoyed this different style of video. And if you did, then smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram at IQ Investing UK for more investing based content just like this every week. As always, thanks for watching.